how I made the world's very first automated sonograph machine. If you recall from your childhood, a sonograph is basically a small wheel inside the other wheel and you spin it and it makes these beautiful patterns. There are also cycloid drawing machines that use more gears, but I wanted to automate this. Uh, what a cycloid is, is basically a dot on a circle and if it rolls and you were to graph it, it makes these different patterns. And I thought that looks pretty cool, but uh, how could I make that? And the cycloid is basically inside a wheel. And as it spins, it makes these kind of intricate patterns. Um, and so I wanted to use an Arduino board and program this. Just in the circle, how could I fit everything uh, inside just a circle and be able to make any kind of design? So I, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how my machine works. I'm just gonna take off the top here and then you can see the inside gears. Now you'll notice it doesn't quite look like a spinal graph there, but I do have an inside wheel that arm that goes in. The middle gear, it pulls the arm in and out, and that has 10 teeth on it. And then the other stepper motor on the outside, it will do the angle. And so we can go between any point and graph any kind of function that we give it. And what we're interested in using the spinal graph, uh, spiral graph, uh, or drawing cycloids uh, designs. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. Let me just put on the top here and I'm going to draw exactly how the mathematics of this works. So this is a circle and with the circle we have the axis of the x-axis and then we have the y-axis at the top here and the radius of this circle will just say that it's 100 units and then that would be the outside perimeter of your circle and we can have any kind of point for example we can have 50 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis these are a Cartesian plane our Cartesian points, and then we could have a other point on the y-axis, let's say 50, 0, 50, and then we can move that arm out so many units to get to the uh, axis, and then we can rotate. You'll notice that we also had to program some counter rotation in there. So as it rotates, it's going to go on an arc because the you have the fixed arm length and then it's just changing the uh, rotation gear of the other motor. But we wanna be able to go in a straight line. And so to do that, what we're going to do is interpolate. We're gonna make several points, smaller points between the two A and B point that you wanna go to. And it will still go in that small arc, but the arc will be so small, it will, appear to be going in a straight line. And then after, this is called reverse kinematics. And I programmed that into the machine and so that we can basically graph any points that you feed into this, you can put the G code kinda and it's going to read and we can graph anything that we want because we can go in arcs, we can also go in straight lines and then giving it a series of points we can draw any kind of pattern that we want for example uh, now I can just plug this in I'm just using one Arduino board 
and I plugged that into my computer. And then I made this function called plot shape that is just going to feed in your points that you want to graph. And I'm just using an array where I put the pairs of x, y coordinates into it. And then after I run that, you can see we can make these intricate patterns right here. I'm drawing a star. It's just going between the points that I fed it into the array. And this is just a visual res representation of what's going on. Before we go into an arc, I just interpolated uh, the function to go in a straight line. And But what about the spiral graph? A spiral graph is basically two gears. We don't have two gears. So how in the world are we going to make this into a spiral graph machine? Because it would make a beautiful pattern as it's spinning around. And that would be quite useful. Well, if you look online, there's actually functions that give you the X and Y coordinates for a spiral graph. And so I made a spiral graph function where you can feed in the radius of the smaller circle rotating. And then that's the same equation right here that I have in inputted. You can also go to seedcode.com and simulate these uh, different variables and draw it and it'll actually show you what you're going to get. So then with putting those variables in the 35 is a smaller spinning wheel and 30 we can actually run the function and see what it looks like when we actually graph it on our sand table here and you can see we get the exact res representation of our function which is very beautiful now you can also graph any kind of more complicated function for example names but this requires more points uh, I'm using sandify.com org you can use that and it's going to give you the g code and then you can download the g code and that will give you x y coordinates and i'm just opening up the file here so that you can have a look at the g code for um uh, uh, the code here and you can see it gives you all the x and y uh, coordinates for that uh, image that you want to graph but you'll notice that it does have some decimal and we just want to round up because we don't need to be 100% accurate within one millimeter. Your eye won't be able to tell the difference. And so I also programmed in Python that will just extract the X and Y coordinates uh, where you can put in the, it'll delete the G in the G code and you just put in the name of the G code and then I'll have the output and it will make commas between your X, Y coordinates. So I just ran that program right there in Python and then I can open up the text the generated text file that was generated and I have put a link on on the all these codes in the description you can check it out yourself so I can just cop, basically copy that from Sanify and just paste it in there and that's safe space because I'm just using one single Arduino board and there we go we can uh, graph any kind of function we want now here. one interesting thing is after you graph you can erase the drawing just by giving it a little shake and then that erases the pattern that's really nice about this small little table but the uh, other way that you can do it is using a wiper there's a wiper function in Sanify where it just basically draws a back and forth pattern and that will kind of erase the function just like what it's showing right here it's erasing the image but if you click on the stats we have a little issue it takes a lot of points this takes 284 points and that's quite a bit of data and we don't have too much RAM you can see my global variables I'm using 88 percent because I'm using all these little points there's actually a better way that you can do the same uh, function of clearing the lines instead of storing all that data all the X and Y X and Y X and Y what we can do is I made a function that uses a loop and it just calculates the points around a normal circle and then the function will go between it so how does that work well, let me draw it out so that you can see it clearly. So here we have a circle. And if we want to find points around the uh, circle, we uh, have the X and Y axis. So the very uh, center of the origin is zero, zero. And the function of a circle is X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. Now our radius is 100. So we have 100 units squared. and if we square 100, that's 10,000. And what we want to do is have a function to solve for the points on the outside of our circle. So when x is 0, we're going to have the output y. 
and then when x is negative and positive, we will get two zeros for every y input, like so. And that would be the perimeter. And then we just have to go between those two points. And then that will clear the image. So we can solve for x. How to solve for x? Well, we can minus y squared here. So we'll minus y squared here. And now we have x squared. So to get rid of the x squared, we can do the square root. And so our function is actually very easy. All we need to put this into Arduino is x is equal to the square root of 10,000 minus y squared. And uh, an equation is more powerful than saving the data because now I get all the points just using the single equation and then I can just tell it to graph between those two points. Very simple. And so that's what it is. It does the exact same thing. Instead of using 284 points that I would have to save in memory, and remember, there's not too much memory in the Arduino Uno. You know. um, I can just use the square root of 10,000 minus, in this case, I use i times i squared, which is the y variable. And there we go, we can graph it. Now, another idea is, instead of doing a wiper, you can just make a kind of like circle pattern and just slowly go in. The arm, uh, the rotation one is going fast. I made another fo uh, function between the two stepper motors called the motor ratio where you can put in the two speeds of the two uh, motors. One is the rotation speed and the other one's the arm speed. And by putting one speed low and one speed high, for example, the, the rotation's going fast, but the arm is slowly going out as timing progresses, you can make that kind of function. And so, now you can make your own spiral graphs. There's many uh, things. Also check out my other video where I explain how I actually built the machine as well. And hopefully you can make your own uh, spiral graphs and make some intricate designs. So, yeah.